Nathan, what are you... Oh. Oh. Let me guess, is it that time again? Yes, it is. It is challenge time. Hello ladies and gentlemen, I'm Hi. Luigi. I'm Nathan. Um, and this is the second Resident Evil challenge we've got for you um, of season three. We're yeah. now we're now entering the challenge room, which is at my house. Yeah. Um, and uh, we've got in total we've got three knife only stipulations for you and uh, many more hard things like this. And we're praying that this is the challenge we can finally pass, aren't we Nathan? Yeah, we're gonna do it this time. No two ways about it. Yeah. We've got to, Absolutely. and um, this, hopefully this will be one of the best challenges, and um, anyways, we'll be back in a minute once yeah. we're just about to start our games. Right, well, the challenge is about to start. Yeah. Um, I'm doing Resident Evil Code Veronica first, um, knife only, which has never been attempted in the challenge before, um, and no side pack. <coughs> I don't know if I'm going to be using first aid sprays or not, but um, as with every challenge, I'll tell you if I do. Oh, and before I forgot to say... I'm using my Wii on this challenge. First time it's being used. My GameCubes do works, but uh, it's just better because we'll be playing Resident Evil 4 Wii Edition later. <laughs> but anyways, what are you doing first, Nathan? I'm playing Resident Evil Remake. Yay! On For your real third time ever. Third time ever in life. <laughs> yeah, Jill, um, real survivor, and I am using the Wii, and I'm also using that. Yes. Chris, Chris Riley. Chris Riley gave me Wireless this for my Game birthday. Controller. Excellent. Thank you very much. It's going to be. Such a nice help. But, um, yes, without further ado, we'd best get moving on before we uh, use up all the tape and run out of time. Time now is 20 past two. Um, we're just about to start this new challenge timer, which, thank you, Josh Sullivan, made for us. Special Resident Evil timer. But, so, are you ready to get started now, Nathan? I think I am. Right, so, um, yeah, get your, <laughs> get your game ready. I'm just about to start I'm just doing a new game, aren't I? Um, no, you need to load it and go into Rule 5. Oh, we'll be back in a second. There we go, Nathan started. Oh, crap. Bollocks! <laughs> right, there we are, I've started, and the challenge timer has now started. The Resident Evil challenge has begun. We have got until 20 past, 21 past 2 tomorrow, when the challenge finishes. So, um, yes, live viewers, you'll be watching Nathan play Resident Evil Remake, and uh, we'll be having updates throughout the show. Right, we're six, nearly seven minutes in, and I got bitten twice, and I went the wrong way, so I thought I may as well restart, but anyway, uh, we'll do updates later on and stuff, so bye do bye Also, I forgot to say I'll be using standard weapons. Okay, bye. Well, we're 20 minutes in and I've already used the first aid spray, but not intentionally. I went to go and pick it up on Code Veronica. I didn't have enough space and it asked me if I wanted to use it and I pressed, pressed yes instead of no. But, um, damn, it's not the best start for me. I've done a lot of bad stuff and... But, oh well, we've not got time to restart now because we're already 20 minutes through, so I have to be doing Code Veronica first aid sprays. But remember, it's knife only, no side packs. And, um... Let's just hope we can get through this. I died it, but um, it's not really such a bad thing. It's just to put me back about ten minutes. The first death of the challenge is one hour and six minutes in, which is a record compared to last time when it was about eleven minutes in. Yeah. Anyway. I right, so I'm now about to fight the Doctor Zombie, which is actually the hardest uh, zombie in the whole of Code Veronica, and you wouldn't believe how many slashes he actually takes to kill. <laughs> And we are 11, 11 hours? 1 hour and 14 minutes in. Oh god, this is such an annoying fight. Help. Orange cause, I've almost used two fully healing items on this one zombie. Oh, there you go, you're dead now, motherfucker. Oh, what? Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> 
Oh, oh, oh shit, that hurts so bad. Ow. Oh, my tongue got stuck in the LucasAid bottle. Ah. Oh, oh, I felt like it was bleeding and everything. It's going to be such a hard fight now. This is the first time, and I can guarantee you I won't do this first time round. Oh, yes! Oh, fucking yes! I got, like, the master shot on my first swipe. Oh, health. Oh, fuck. Oh, my God! First time round! Took you hardly any time at all. First time round! Oh, my God! I can't believe that. Like, when I experimented with it, that took me at least ten attempts. Jesus Christ! I only got hit, like, two or three times. Well, good. Still got the play time to Elder go. Crimson here. The moment you've all been waiting for. The tyrant fights on the plane with just a knife. Well, I might not be waiting. Oh, great. Oh, good if some of the slices actually hit him. Come on. Oh, God, I've not touched him once yet. What? 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 What the hell? Oh, God. Well, that's my first death this challenge. Quick. Two hours, three minutes in. Question. Oh god, I've missed so many swipes. Right, no healing left. Yes! Don't do a catabolt. No! Don't be a dick. Come on. Come on. Right, come on, come on, please, 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 Oh. Not quite as angry as you got from Krauser, but there we are. That's the plain tyrant beaten with a knife, and you only witness it here at Resident Evil Challenger. About to fight the plant boss, but I wasn't exactly very prepared for this, so I only had the pistol, and I don't have any extra health. So, we'll find out what happens. No, no, just when he opens up this pink, when it opens up, like now, because I could hear like, get him all good. What was the last time we saved? Serious. Do an update. Quick. It's recording anyway. Oh. I died, it. Oh well. well. I'll find out how far. Yeah. Basically, I haven't saved in a while, so I'm back to the masks bit, but. Oh, shit happened. Nosferatu's waking up. We're two hours, 53 minutes in, and we had a technical fault a while ago. So, um, that's resorted for now. Let's hope that's the only one we have to deal with. But, I'm about to fight Nosferatu, and our, our fans have been making bets on how many attempts it takes to beat. I reckon three, hopefully oh, less than that. And Nathan says six. Um, Nathan's about to fight Crimson Head again, because he's not being so successful. But I'm going to go have a wee now, and uh, then we'll have... My first attempt. I'm going first. Ah, oh, you bastard. <laughs> Here we go. Attempt number one. Knife fight with Nosferatu. Oh, yes. Oh, actually, I'm not going to stand there. Yes. Oh no! Oh, dead. Well, didn't get it my first go. Damn! I was doing quite well that time as well. I'm gonna go have a win, then I'll be back. Right, attempt number two. Let's hope we're a bit more successful. No. <laughs> oh god, I knew that was gonna happen, but two I just didn't do anything. Oh. oh! Come on. No! Oh, that was so close. 
no, or he was about to kill me then. Oh, this is too close. This is too close. Because I know what he's doing. Yes! I was right! I was right! Look, it does... I know, uh, yeah, you get a, a, get a new killing cutscene. I was right, I said three times. I win, I win, Nuge is a winner. Oh, I'm so happy. And that's how you beat Nosferatu with a knife. Another one of Nuge's survival tips. I just beat Nosferatu, was we're three hours into the challenge, and... I just killed the Crimson Head again. And it's Nathan's three hours into it. So, we're progressing on now. Um, I'm over halfway with Code Veronica. I'm planning to get this done before we're five hours in, but Alexia, the first form actually, is going to be the hardest part. Um, yeah, let's just hope that the rest of this challenge goes well. Right, um, well me and Nathan have just had um, our dinner. I opened up another bottle of Luke's Aid, and honest to God, I shit you not, when I opened it up, the fucking thing shot in my eye. It didn't fizz up or anything, this is a still drink, We're not, I've not stopped after my fizzy one yet. It shot me in the eye and it stinged like a motherfucker. I cannot believe that. But yeah, three hours, 33. Oh. And it, was all, it was exactly three, 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 three then. Anyways, um, time's now four past six. Um, we better press on. Code Veronica and remake. And it's exactly for four hours in. That's well good. I'm just going to Antarctica as we are nearly exactly four hours in. There we go, four hours in. And I'm going to Antarctica with Chris for the last slog of uh, this Code Veronica Knife Only Challenge. It's not been too bad, but I've not got much healing items and I don't know how the final election is going to be done. But only time will tell. Dagnabbit! Oh, well, I've got to retry. Um, I just got killed by a vine when I was um, playing as Claire for the last time. I didn't want to use any health because if I get hit by the vine when I'm on fine, 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 um, then I'll have to use health when I'm being chased by Steve, so I don't really want to. Right, attempt two, I only got hit by the leech vine thingy twice. Oh, it's going to be cheap again. Oh, yes! Just managed it that time. But Alexia now. And uh, Alexia's going to make that piece look like a piece of this. Bloody linked boxes, that's right. so... Yeah, this bit's going to be so hot. No, but when you retry, you start off straight back here. <laughs> oh, fuck, it's dead. That's quite hot. Yep. Oh, crap. Oh, well. I'll just do an update when she nearly does. Yes! Third time round! Was that fourth fourth time round? Oh, the one time I don't oh, record she's it. Dead. The one time I don't record it. It's always my bloody luck, isn't it? Oh, thank God for that. I just realised that Alexia didn't hit me once in that, so I've got the um, actual video. Uh, she didn't hit me once in that, so it's all good. And Nathan, whereabouts are you? You're about to fight Jake the Snake. Am I? Yeah. Actually, fight, have to fight and kill him. Yeah. Silly fool. We can do an update of Nathan now. Yeah, yeah, I just killed Jake the Snake, which is well good, because I forgot I was about to fight him, so I had basically a green herb and pistol, so it wasn't too bad. I know you can do it with a knife, but I didn't even know I was about to fight him, so. Oh, well, updates later. Good to play, Clay. Oh my god! I just died from a fucking knob, and now again. He died on the Stonewall puzzle, we were just saying about... How the first time it took Nathan an hour to do it, literally like five seconds before this update, and then he got squashed behind the wall. Shit. When was the last time we saved? Don't know. Anyway, update. Bloody hunters, they just killed me again. Anyway, update. I really don't like hunters. Goodbye. I really, really don't like hunters. Even with some heavy firepower, they still somehow killed me. Anyway, I'm gonna kill them later. Here we go, it's time for a fight of Alexia. Let's hope that I don't die on this first bit. Yes, thank God. Both those zombies are mobs. Now this is going to be a hard part. Not that this game hasn't been hard enough.
<laughs> I'll have an update in a minute. That sounded so weird. Oh no. Oh crap. Alexia poisoned me so I couldn't see what my health status was. So I died. Time to try again. And I can't be asked to go back and get those blue herbs. I just have to go. Because it'll actually take ages to do that. Well, it's got to be now or never. I've only got two healing items left. Come on. Getting a nice offence. How much more is it going to take? Yes! Did you see that? I didn't even slice her. Just again. Oh, there we are. I've almost right, beaten. So I reckon two. I have think I've almost beaten Kovonica knife only. Final hurdle of this game. How many linear launcher shots are it going to take to beat Alexia? Put your bets in now. Well, oh, one, two, three. Oh god, the more than four, five, six. Come on, seven, eight. God, I've got such a bad aim. Nine, ten. Shit, it's just gonna end up killing me. Eleven, twelve. Fuck no. Danger. 13, 14, 15, 16, oh my god, this is awful, I told you I've lost I my... I meant 2 times 16. Yes, 17! I meant 2 times 8 points. Oh, there we are. I can honestly say I've beaten the whole of Cobronica, knife only, and no side packs, in, <laughs> in 5 hours and 4 minutes. It'll be great time in just a minute. And, uh... Just as we we're about to celebrate, Nathan got fucked up by a zombie. Dang. Right, well, where's my grave? D, 4 hours 47. 13 retries. So, uh, not the best grade there. 7 saves, which is alright. And 4 hours 47, a lot of that time because of breaks and stuff. But I'd say that's, that's sufficient time for um, Code Veronica Knife Only with no side packs. And um, yes, I'm pretty happy with that. We are 5 hours 11 minutes through. Resident Evil 2 is up next, but as usual, I'll be enjoying a small little break. I'm going to try and help press Nathan on a bit more. Right, so um, 5 hours 29 minutes into the challenge, and after a little break, I'll be moving on to Resident Evil 2. Now that uh, Code Veronica's finished, as you can see, Resident Evil 2, we'll be doing Claire B. Um, which is, we've not done Claire B since Challenge 4 of Season 1, which is nearly two years ago, and we've not done a Claire, actual Claire scenario since um, the start of Season 2. So, this is quite a, it's quite a nice, rejuvenating experience to see Claire and Claire B scenario. But anyways, I'll be doing it. Knife and spark shot only, and as you don't get the spark shot for ages, um, it will make it even harder, but I will be doing this on easy because I need the extra health items because it's going to be so hard because most of it will be knife only and it's just a spark shot for the final bosses. But right, let's just get on with Resident Evil 2. I'll be doing Claire Rookie, knife and spark shot only. Just quick update, I know it's on new new screen, but I still just um, killed the snake again with the knife and a few shotgun shells, so it wasn't too bad. Anyway, we'll do updates later. I just got munched by four zombies, they cheaped me, and I'm on danger. And I'm probably going to die in this next room, and I'll have to start the whole game again. So there's probably going to be a zombie right around here somewhere. Well, this is just a death wish. Watch Nuji die, because there's no freaking way I can get to that safe box past all these zombies. Next hit, I'm dead. Bollocks! Fuck! Ah. Oh. Even though I knew it was going to happen, I'm still pissed off. That's like 20 minutes wasted. What? Oh well. Right, I'm finally back to where I died um, on Resident Evil 2, so it's not too bad. But, um, yeah, Nathan's getting a bit lost. He's not got much help on the remake, so let's just pray that uh, we can get it done. And, oh, good talk about timing. We are exactly six hours through the Resident Evil challenge. Looks like I spoke too soon. Once again. Fuck. Just killed the snake boss again. So, anyway, updates later. I'll update when I save.
Insane now. Died again. It's just. No. We'll go all the way back again. So we've been oh. stuck on the same bit for like the past four hours or something. It's not quite that long. Really? Anyway, I'll update in a second when I have to decide what to do. Right, well, here we go. My first boss fight is with nearly seven hours to challenge. This isn't going to be the easiest thing in the world. As you can see. And I'm going to have to use first aid sprays because I don't have any herbs left. And this is the first thing I'm actually going to kill. But it looks like I'm going to be killed first. But we'll... Oh shit! Come on, stand up, use some help. No! Oh, I'm going to be cheaped. I told you I was going to be cheaped. Always get fucking cheap. But like, fucking cheap, fucking cheap, fucking 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 cheap. Cheap, it's cheap, cheap. Six hours fifty-eight. Cheap. But I died on fine health. That was a bit unfair. Seven hours. Look, this is probably the most sensible thing I've done in about four hours. Yeah. Right. Anyway, as you can see, we've just gone seven hours in, and as you can see, that is Nooch. Hello. Oh yes. Anyway, I will do updates later. What? What? I was on fine health. He didn't do a power shot or nothing. What? I was doing so well. Oh, what a piece of shit. <laughs> Fuck's sake. Oh, what? I've got quite a few hits on him so far. Oh, shit. Because he's been a bit of a twat and he's been hitting the railings more than me. But it's just my luck that when I show you it's when I'm getting rammed. Oh, fuck. No. Right, away. That's still yellow caution. Right, he must nearly be dead. It's so there we go, that's Burke and Dead. Then, Burke and Dead and took two healing items to do that. So, not the best. I had to use first aid spray because so I had no health other than that. But at least he's dead and gone for now. Now we'll be swapping over to Nathan. Right, just same for the seventh time. I'm down in the um, underground. Uh, just got the hexagonal crank, so I'm doing alright now. Okay. I don't know what it is about me and boulders, but <laughs> yeah, you know, one crushed me. Oh, I'll do an update. Even though I could have sworn on my life against it, I have to fight the crocodile on scenario B as Claire. Ah, oh, my heart has literally stopped because this was what made us fail the last challenge. I've not prepared for it, I've not saved since the Birkin fight, so I'm going to have to do that again. There's no way and chance I'm going to be able to do this amount of health. Especially when I missed the first shots. Oh, God. This is hell on earth. I can't believe this. See, that will be all my health gone there. Apart from that one herb, which I'll have to use there. Oh shit. This is not good. Nope. What a bunch of bullshit. Ah, oh, this is going to piss me right off. All the way back to Burke. Fuck. Things are looking so optimistic for us. <laughs> we love boulders and we love crocodiles. It's the problems of the last challenge all over again. Seven hours, 27 minutes. Yes, finally! After about God knows how many attempts, nearly 20 attempts, I've finally beaten Burke and now I can progress on to the crocodile. A quick question. Right, well, I'm just doing my fifth save just outside the area where Mr. Croc is. So hopefully this won't take as long as it did in the last challenge and hopefully we can get it beaten quickly. But uh, I know that Nathan's got something to say. Right, I'm just saving because I'm about to go underground to fight Lisa. Uh, I should be alright, I mean I should be. I have pretty much any, everything. And I have saved, so it'll be alright. Yes, I've mastered it! Third time round. Three seems to be my See, lucky number today. You, I told you three times round. Ah, oh, you were right as well. Good. I think I've sussed that crocodile. So, I think we should have a re-attempt of Leon A knife only in the next challenge. But yes, I'm glad that's sorted. But we've still got many or more bigger issues on our hands in this challenge. And Nathan just beat Lisa. Yes, so I just beat uh, the first disc of Resident Evil. Okay. So we're going on to the second one, hopefully it won't take too long to finish it. Very last update for a while, finally got the spark shot, 
So that's the one weapon I get to use, not using it for the ammo, it's just the ammo that's in that gun, for that 100%, and that will be used on the final bosses later. But yes, as you can see, I'm in the underground, and uh, I'll be in the Umbrella Lab soon. I was so fluky on that boss fight, um, I only had to use two healing items when I was on Orange Caution anyway. He missed loads of shots, and I got a good offence on him, I'm sorry I didn't show it before. And, um, yeah, but I'm on danger, so I might be dead soon. Well, just found first aid spray in the box. Place your bets now. How many attempts will it take me to do the gas canister? Oh, yeah, no, update it's... in a minute. Well, I did die because apparently there's a 30% chance of dying when you use a shotgun or any weapon, but. Oh, well, shit happens. <laughs> Find out later. I literally just set the capsule down. That is such a relief. That Second time round. Now you can fuck off. Anyway, see ya. Praying they can snap the curse that I did. Right. Richard's just dropped the rocket launcher. Nine hours, seven minutes in. Hopefully, this will be tired beat the first time round and not. Oh, actually, you won't die in fine help. Now, 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 now. Now, come on, hey. That one should miss. Then you go to the end straight away. Yes! Yes! Oh, nine hours, seven minutes, and five seconds. Fuck yes! Nathan's beaten Resident Evil Remake for the third time in his life. Right. Let's see what grade you get. Now it's on to loot. And you rescued all survivors. Wait, let's see where your grade is. Should I pause it? Right, grades are coming. I wonder what you got. <laughs> <laughs> nine Four. hours, seven in real life, but... Four hours twenty. Well done, Nathan. Nathan will be doing Resident Evil Four Wii next. Well, good. Um, and I'll be doing Resident Evil Four Wii after I've beaten uh, Resident Evil Two. So we'll be moving on to me. Right. Cool. Well done, mate. Well, this is going to be fun. I've this not. Fun. I've I've only used the knife for everything. I've not used the spark shot at all. This is the first time I'm using the spark shot on Birkin. <sighs> Are you using the rocket launcher with this? No, no you don't get it, do you? No, only on that one shot that you have to use. Oh, he didn't get me. <laughs> Shit. I've only got two healing items. That's for the other Birkin as well. Oh shit, I should've healed. I could take one more, really. And that was it. <laughs> Come on, 87%, I could have used this on a few other things, really. Oh, already? Quick. Oh, come on. God, if I'd known that how little you actually have to use with him. You lose, big guy. Oh. Well, that's almost done. I might as well use the spark shot killing zombies on the way out. That's the first bit. Last bit. Well, here we go. This is it. This is the final boss of Resident Evil 2. All I've got is this spark shot to do it. This has never been tested. We don't know if the spark shot's enough to actually kill him. This is the first time I've used a spark shot in a Resident Evil challenge. So we're praying this will be enough and Resident Evil 2 will be done. If not, we'll be screwed for quite a while. But let's pray. So I've had to use just the knife and everything. Just because I've been so worried about not having enough ammo for this motherfucker. Let's do this. Oh, I wish there wasn't so much recoil on it. Although she's moving back by herself. Yeah, right, oh shit. Shit. Come on. Yes! Oh, that's so much shit. Fucking A. I've beaten Resident Evil 2, just the knife and that spark shot on those two bosses, which you really have to use that on, especially if that matter of health I've done. I'm so proud of that. I'm so proud. I don't know if I get a chance, but um, I'm so proud of that. <laughs> I've got 53% spark shot left. Well, so that's all I can say. That can be part of the situation. It's only using 47% spark shot and knife. <laughs> Go Nooch. Go Nooch. Well there we go. D, 9 saves, 2 hours 15. Not the best, but uh, 
That's two games, pretty much, knife only done in 9 hours 20 minutes. But um, I'm pretty happy of that. I'm proud that I managed to do Crocodile and all those boss fights of all knife only and stuff. But anyways, me and Nathan will be migrating downstairs to uh, the big family room. We'll be doing Resident Evil 4 Wii Edition together. Uh, follow the least style, like the last challenge. So. Right, so after migration and a long parent argument with my parents, um, we've now moved down to um, the living room, which is nice and big. We've got nice lots of footrests, big TVs, and we've now got tea, as you can see there. So now it's the survival stay awake. Nathan's got some bad news for you guys. I forgot my nunchuck, so I'm doing Nathan's GameCube doing GameCube version. Of so Nathan's going to have to do GameCube version whilst I do the Wii version, so it'll be quite good for comparisons. But, um, yeah. Right, I'll update once I put my disc in. So I'm doing Wii edition whilst Nathan's doing GameCube one. I'll now unpause the timer, because it had been set a bit lower. So we are now... 9.21.15, we can't really see that from here. But um, anyways, what stick patients are you doing, Nathan? I'm doing handgun, TMP and rifle only, uh, with knife and flash grenades. But there's going to be no upgrades. I'm going to have no yellow herbs, standard case, no tactical vest. Uneasy. Yep. <laughs> the uneasy is right. Yeah, but anyways, I'm doing Resident Evil 4, um, professional mode, handgun, TMP, and mine throw only. And that's pretty much all it is to it. So, 9 hours, 21 minutes through, we'll be starting Resident Evil 4 now. Ah, oh, there we go. We'll be updates about the show. show. Right, so those, that's my inventory. I'm actually going to be racing Nathan in this. We're going to see who can beat, beat it the first, because roundabout, they're about, work out about the same situation. He's doing pro, I'm doing easy, but he's got that. I'm doing easy, you're doing pro. Well, whatever. And he's got harder weapons, so let's see who can beat Resident Evil 4 first. Right, well, we've moved the camera so you can get both screens to see the race. Um, I'm slightly ahead, but Nathan's going to have the advantage when he gets to skip out a few of the scenes with uh, easy mode, but we'll have updates soon. Going. Right, well, I'm about to fight El Gigante, and just to make things a bit fairer on the actual race part, I'm not having a stock on my TMP, but Nathan's allowed to have one, he's going to buy one in a minute. Yeah, doing quite well. I'm not too far behind Luke, and yeah. We're almost 10 time. hours in, 9 hours, 56 minutes. Yes, anyway, updates like Right, I just killed El Gigante. And I just had the first death on the Resident Evil 4 challenge bit. Lol. Because Ashley got burnt to a cinder. <laughs> Alright, fair enough. Anyway, updates later. And we're going. Right, well, um, just to make things a bit easier on Nathan again, I'm going to go the right hand way. Oh, wait, did I press right or left? Oh, no, I need to press left. Left hand way, so I go the longer way through the chainsaw room, and then you can go the quicker way with the um, El Gigante. El Gigante. So that's a little bit. I've just done a bit of Luis and um, I'm quite far ahead of Nathan but this might level things out a bit but we'll be back shortly. Bye bye. It's just shot me. Ashley accidentally but oh well. Sure. Right well how many hours are we are now Nathan? Uh, we've just gone past 11. Just gone past 11 hours in. Um, I'm a bit Ahead of Nathan, just playing as Ashley in Resident Evil 4. And uh, Nathan's just done the bit where he's first met the Vista doors and with the pendulums. But we're progressing on quite well. Uh, Nathan had a bit of a struggle in the bit in the castle with all the archers and Ashley winding the cranks. But uh, we're getting there and just making good progress. Hmm. Right, on my Resident 4, I'm 1 hour 47 minutes through. Just beaten uh, chapter 3 4. It was Ashley. Um, I'm gonna have a short break. Go and get some tea for me and Nathan whilst he progresses on with uh, Resident Evil 4, which is proving to be a bit harder for him, hit for him than uh, my one's one, after two, me. Three, one, two, three, four. But yes, going good. Be back soon. Well, we're just halfway through the challenge. Twelve hours now, and our health status has gone to caution on the time clock. Um, it's going well. I've. I'm starting to run low on my uh, stocks on Resi 4. Just um, did the no Vista, second no Vista door bit, um, like around the cliffs and stuff. Nathan's a bit behind, but not too far. He's getting there. But um, we're going to have the halfway interviews in just a moment. Oh, well, that interview will be a bit delayed as I'm waiting for Nathan to beat this El Gigante with 
just a knife at the moment as he has absolutely zero ammo and only about three healing items. It's the last healing item gone. This is a pure fight to the death. And there we are. Would we'll we'll you speak to the devil? That's it. Just did it. No healing items left. No ammo left. Um, let's just hope the rest goes. Right, and here we have the uh, interview of Nathan from the Resident Evil challenge so far. So, uh, what's been your favourite challenge? Favourite challenge? Favourite moment of this challenge so far? Probably the bit I just did when I killed the um, El Gigante with only a knife. Yeah. Just finished him off with a knife. That was, pr that was pretty impressive. But now I'm a bit buggered because I have no ammo, no healing items, no grenades, no nothing at the moment, but not too bad. Yeah, and what's been your worst moment so far? Um, probably remake, just the bits that just took me so long. Yeah. yeah. So do you reckon we'll get this challenge beaten on time, honestly, with honestly, the way it's yeah, going so far? Because we're doing quite well, we're picking up some speed, so... Yeah, yeah, it's going well. Yeah, it's good. Awesome. Right, the interview. Right, now for the interview with Dooge. Right. So how are you at the moment? Good. Uh, the strain's starting to kick in now, getting a bit tired. Things are feeling a bit crap, really, but it's going to be so good if we can get this challenge beaten. Right, best moment? Um, probably... I've got quite a few. Probably when I beat that alligator third time round, I was so happy of that. Beating all of our enemies present even two apart from the last two bosses with knife only was also really impressive. And Co Veronica I'm happy with two. Cool. Worst? Worst moment was just finding out about that alligator. And <laughs> that those Birkin fights, they were hell on earth. That was just annoying. Right, and how quickly do you think it'll take for you to finish your Rest of your games. Oh, well, I'm over halfway through Resident Evil 4, so that's not too much of a problem. Although it will creep up a bit. So hope that'll be beaten in about three hours. And then that's only about five hours max to get zero done. So cool. I might help you out a bit. Right. Thank you. Let's cool. get that kettle turned on. Right. Basically, me and Luke have just well, I've just caught up with Luke. I don't see how the hell he managed to do that. But stats so far, my total hit ratio of 76 percent. 290 enemies killed and 7 times died. Much better actually. Lower number of enemies killed and a lower times killed. Shh. But anyways, we need to press on but and yeah. we're going to race them. Well, I just beat Salazar on my second go. Used like most of my ammo to do it. And uh, Nathan's still struggling trying to beat these red coat guys. But if I was doing the cube version, this is where I would change discs in a minute. But um, yeah, let's just press. Well, I've just had a break and eaten some kettle chips, but Nathan has been fighting this Salazar boss, like this same battle, not as in dying, but this one battle for at least 20 minutes. So it's taking ages with these unupgraded weapons, and it's ridiculous. And if he dies, it's going to be so screwed up, so um, we'll keep you filled in. No! After like a half an hour battle, Nathan died. Tell you what, I'll give it a go. You have a break, mate. Well, this is ridiculous. This is actually impossible unless it takes like an hour to beat him or something. So, we're going to have to do something. Choice is yours, what you want to do. Hmm? We'll have to change stipulation to something. Well, because this isn't going to be possible this way, really. Well, we'll, we'll have an update when you sort of speak to it. Right. Because Salazar's being the right so and so, I'm probably. I'm going to take the broken butterfly as well, with some extra firepower. Unupgraded though. Unupgraded. So we're adding that to the stipulation. Handgun, rifle, TMP and broken butterfly, all unupgraded. Yep, just killed him, finally. Ah, oh, it's such a relief, but I'm so tired that I can't even react properly. Yeah, we'll do updates later and it looks like Luke's having fun. Ugh. Right, just getting on to Dix Discs Disc two and Luke's having fun with this part, so let's go. Fair. We'll have one tablespoon, if we can do two we can. But here we go, me and Nathan. It's proper coffee, no shit. We're not that road. We're gonna eat a tablespoon of coffee. As you can see that's real coffee. <laughs> it's heaped up. I get Luke says to drink with it, this is going to be freaking rank. Well, no, I'll tell you what, why don't we fill those up each? 
Because um, then we can buy dirt at the same time. Oh, yeah, we can down it for thingy. Right, pause that and we'll get this all set up. <laughs> right, well, here's the coffee and our things. Yeah. Uh, this is going to be a mish. Right, here you go. Three, Three two, two, one. Mm. <laughs> oh, that is rank. It's pretty chewy and quite soft. And it's not too bad actually. <laughs> well, I might be able to do this now. Okay. I'm alright, I'm alright. Oh, nearly, nearly. Nearly. Two, two, two. Gone. Oh man, that was rank. Um, I'm just finishing it off. Wait. And all the remnants left in the bottle. The cap. <gasps> Fuck. Oh shit. <laughs> Fuck you, Lucas Abe. <laughs> Why can't I ever not go around about spilling Lucas Abe myself? There we go. Complete with. Lucas, wet Lucas A trousers. Hope you enjoyed that. Mm. That wasn't too bad actually. No. We'll try and make it two tables. Well, after a lot of hardship and getting stuck for a long, long time on Resident Evil 4 for me, Nathan's just about to beat the final boss. Um, and I'm fighting the final boss now. And Nathan's going to do it for me, and I'm going to restart because, once again, the sense is going funny. Probably because I shouldn't be playing for so far away. But yes, it's going good. And how long far through, far through are we, Nathan? 15 hours, 36 minutes. Cool. Right, those are my results. As you can see, it's 77% accuracy. 6 hours and 14 minutes, whatever that is. 27 deaths and 300 and 23 enemies killed. Anyway, Luke's not too far off, he's literally just fighting Sadler. So, I'll update when he's finished. But um, we're going to both be moving on to Zero next. Yep. Um, we'll, and we will update them. Cool. Bye de bye. Right, well, um, I'm moving on to my fourth and final game of my planned um, game of uh, Resident Evil Challenge, where I'll be doing Resident Evil Zero along with Nathan. Yeah. Um, and we'll both be doing it on easy mode. I'll say, yeah, yeah, it's easy mode, but knife only and no first aid sprays. So let's see how this goes. Whoopee. As I put Resident Evil Zero in. Right. This will be a biatch. Yeah, it's not exactly going to be a simple one. Uh, uh, there will obviously be updates throughout the game. And, and um, we'll also be racing on this one, yeah. like last time. Oh, I always put the disc in the wrong fucking way. And you can see Luke hasn't slept in a good 20 hours, so... Yep. Well, more than that, but anyway, we'll do updates with the challenge, the rest of it anyway. Okay. Right, me and Luke both just died, we just got swamped by zombies, and I think both Rebecca's died. But, I don't know, we'll update in a minute. He ain't got power to Right, well, um... After a little sidetrack, like 15 minutes, but or 20 minutes or so, we've started the uh, timer again. We don't want to lose time for stuff which isn't really involved with the challenge. Yeah. Um, the timer's 16 hours, 42 minutes. We're starting Resident Evil Zero again, we both died. I'm not sure if we're using first aid sprays or not. We'll try. We'll see what we can do. Yeah. Um, and once again, if we use first aid sprays, we'll, get, we'll inform you, but um, we need to press on. And just get this challenge beaten. Indeed. So we've had pretty much everything come at us in this one, so let's get moving. Zero. Mm. Zero. Oh, I forgot to say that we actually migrated all the way back upstairs into my room, so that's why it took so long to set everything up. But, um, back to start. The rush on the challenge begins as we now get to 17 hours and orange cordon on the challenge timer. I'm feeling so tired and I literally feel like I'm about to fall asleep at the uh, controls any second. Um, how are you doing Nathan? Meh. 
let's leave it at that. Enough said. Ah, oh, this is pissing me off too much. I don't know if I can really be asked for this. Choose a different game. Died twice, and I keep falling asleep in the middle of playing it. Um, I don't know what to do last. I'm not doing zero because it's pissing me off so much. I'll definitely do it in the next challenge. Um, but I don't know. I'll be back soon. Well, things haven't been going too great. Um, sucked at zero, and I really, really can't force myself to do it anymore. So I'm going to do Resident Evil 3. Um, knife only, so it's different something from Nathan's one. On easy mode, I'll see about first aid sprays, but uh, we'll get this done. Get that done, and then we can take the next step from there. So, um, let's just see what happens. This has been such a weird challenge. Not your average challenge, I'll give you that. For the first time, I put the disc in the right way. This really is not my day at all. Oh, I'm getting so pissed. Right, here we go. Change plan. Everything sorted. This will be the finalised plans now. Nathan's not doing three anymore. I'm doing three. I'm doing his stipulations of standard handgun only, no gunpowder. He's going to be doing zero, and then after he's done zero, he's going to be doing Resident Evil DS. So then we'll have the whole series beaten and DS for the people who want to see it. I hope you enjoy that. I'm now going to be starting Resident Evil 3 hard mode. Handgun only, no gunpowder. Kidding. Right, now this isn't going to be much fun, as I'm going to fight um, Clock Tower Nemesis with my handgun, but I realised I only have one fully herb healing item. So I'm trying to do some out first aid sprays. Oh, this ain't going to last long. Nope, that was awful. Have it, that was so close. I've got no healing items left. I'll probably be on danger or orange caution, but I just scraped big nemesis. If I'm on danger, I'm proper screwed. Because I won't be able to get anywhere. And I've got like no ammo anyway, but oh well, we'll just have to see how it goes. Right, just finished disc one on Resident Evil Zero, so I'm going to be doing disc two now. But yeah, we'll do updates later. Just killed Bat Boss with um Knife only, which is quite a challenge, but anyway, we'll do it. Well, I die uh, putting Carlos, and I've got to go back to fighting Nemesis again. Ah, not so good then. No. Oh, bye. Right, basically, what just happened is I just meant to drop a um, first aid spray, but I accidentally used it when I had five health, so I didn't oh. do anything. So, I'm still going to go on from now without using them, but just to let you know that I did actually use one. Two, one. There we go. We're now on danger health. There's uh, four hours left out of the 24. I'm not. I've. I'm starting to get back to where I was on um, Reggie up Reggie three now. Um, and Nathan's progressing on pretty well on zero. So um, yeah. let's pray that this can be done. Hard till I'll be in the facility. Hmm. Oh. Right. Got back to playing as Jill. Um, haven't used any first aid spray since I reloaded, so let's hope that I don't have to in the rest of the Right, just doing a quick update on mine, but I can't be asked to move the camera. I just got on the cable car, lost Billy, and Luke is? Um, just about fight Earth Room Jim, but yeah, it's going to be right. a short one because we've not got much to take. Alright, see you later. There we go, I beat the Power Room Nemesis, and just the final thing to go, and I've beaten <coughs> my side of the Resident Evil chat. Yes, I thought so. That's it. The final boss is dead. I've beaten my side of the challenge in 21 hours, 7 minutes, and 24 seconds when I checked it. So that's it done. Just zero to go for Nathan, which he's near the end of, and DS. I'll have my grade in just a minute. Well, there's my grade. 2 hours 8, um, 2 hours 8, 24, 9 saves, um, no, sorry, 8 saves, and a grade D. That's my last game done. My part of the challenge is over, and Nathan beat Marcus knife only on his first attempt. That's very, very good. But um, yes, it's all good, and uh, we should have Zero finished. And I have just finished Resident Evil Zero. And we'll have Nathan's grey screen. Yeah, bye bye. Right, on easy mode, you don't get a um, grey screen, but... Oh well. 
We'll have updates when we're ready to do DF, so... Here we go, it's time. Me and Nathan have two hours and 13 minutes left of challenge time. Um, when we start the top clock again from after lunch. We are going to do Resident Evil 4. We're going to try and beat it in that time. No stipulations, any weapons we want. We're going to see if we can get it beaten that time. It's going to be so fluky, it's going to be win or lose. We'll be back with you soon. Well, me and Nathan have got one hour left. I'd say we are actually exactly halfway through the game. I think we'll get us done. It's just going to depend whether we're... I think eventually we'll end up a few minutes over, but... Can we have a miracle? Let's see. Yeah, shoot that lighter. Yeah, we just changed. We're on disc two. We've got 21... Um, sorry, 41 minutes left. It's going to be very, very tight. Bullet actually just got killed on the... Uh, Truck bit, um, 24 minutes left. Uh oh, we've got 10 minutes left. Let's hope we can get it. Ah, uh, so close. But, um, let's see how how long it takes us to beat the end of this. Can you guess that? 24 hours, 6 minutes, and 9 seconds to beat it. But when you think about it, we did do a harder game. We'll have the ending stuff right now. Took bliss. Well, there we go, 2 hours 31. Well, there we go, we finished it, we beat it, I have to say, even though we did go over 24 hours, a lot of things did change, we've been moving up and down stairs, we've been moving TVs, we beat all the games that we planned to do, although we changed what we were doing, stipulations for better and for worse, so I think all about it equals out really, uh, just from after a few things, and um, it was a good challenge, wasn't it? Yeah, it was really good. It's good stuff. Yeah. And the last thing I could say after doing this whole challenge. Wait, can you just turn TV off? Turn TV off. Last thing I can say from this great challenge is... We did it! <laughs> <laughs> we did it! We did it! We did it. Oh, we did it. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. <laughs> Second time yeah. season three. We actually played, we've been up for like 27 hours since we started the actual challenge, but we've had technical stuff and whatnot in between. Thank you for joining us, and uh, we'll see you for the next challenge. See you later. <laughs>